couple of pictures and sent her my number. Right. And she like everything she wanted, like she wanted me to take care of her cremation package. So I set her up with Michael Brass. They doing a pre need. That's taken care of. I'm I'm gonna do the Omnio thing for her next week. And by Friday, she'll be, you know, set with her funeral and burial plans. Everything will be all taken care of. Okay. I need this dude's number. She said, I'm going to send it to you next week when he come by and do my car. Mm-hmm. Like, why you can't send me the number now? I said, I need social media presence right now. To my next week. I ain't got next week. I need shit today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you start getting out there, man, fucking with people, man, you got your shit got to be right, man. You can't no bullshit, man. No, it it take away from what you're doing and lessens your credibility. Exactly, but what you do with a motherfucker, you give. You could be a fraud. You could be a fraud. You could be a fraud ass person, uh-huh. but have a good social media platform that they can look at. That's enough to keep people engaged. Yeah, but but you know, I'm a real one. I ain't no fraud. So if I just get my social media game super polished and script. Because Greg said he finna do. I'm like, man, I, I'm gonna do my own shit. I done seen what y'all do two times. And it's just <laughs> y- y'all don't know what the major leagues is. Is supposed to look like. Okay, okay. It's just this is a whole nother level of how your shit supposed to look. It ain't got to be elaborate. It just needs to be crisp and polished. Yeah, it needs to be like set. It needs to be like seven up with ice with a pretty glass, Ooh. crystal clear and clean. Ooh, you like that? Bubbly, Damn, and bubbly and bubbly. <laughs> right. bubbly. It need to be crisp and clean like seven up. You know, yeah. seven up with with ice and a glass. Yeah, bubbly got that bubbly, the bubble. Right, but it's crisp and clean. Yes. You can see the effervescence and the refresh with the little bubbling and shit. That's telling you you'll, you will get a treat. That's telling you that it's ready. It's ready. It's bubbling. Correct the mind, though. Yeah. It looks... It's looking pretty good. I just need a couple real ones to step up. Give me an opportunity. Maybe it's Warren. He gave me his number. He seemed pretty cool. He seemed like he liked me and he's comfortable. I think part of it is, too, I've been around athletes enough. I just treat them normal. I'm not no fucking... I made an exception yesterday. So we are leaving. I said, oh, man, let me... I said, I just thought about it. I said, it's not very often I get to take a picture with a Hall of Famer. And I looked at him. I said, I'm going to make an exception. He just looked at me. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah, I'm just letting him know. Like, nigga, I'm not... You know, after this, I got my one. So a- after this, is like... And I can get invited to the golf tournament and network with some of the people. And uh, we talk on the phone and like, hey, man, what's possible? Shit. We could do some nice work because he, he still fuck with the NFL and, and the Canadian League. He got plugs all over the place. Mm-hmm. That's, that's a dude. Is he a real one? He's like, hey, man, you know what? Give me a break on this or do this for me for the tournament. I said, we got to pay bills. So just make sure we can pay some bills, bro. We can pay some bills. We can might make a deal. We'll take less for some, re- you know, we'll take less to pay some bills, but the referrals, you know, you got to really push us. You know, you know me, bro, just said, walk me into them and let me do my thing. And if we can have that kind of conversation, I said, hey, man, after we get through the business, man, just for plugging us in with some folks, we're going to do something for you personally. If you want a helmet or you want your jersey, you want a Calgary shit. He was with the um, Ottawa uh, Rough Riders. Right. He was ca- no, Calgary. Calgary. So... And if you want something from Canada, you want something from the NFL, you kind of let us know and we'll work some stuff in. I'm sure he'll like that. And I said, man, go holler at your boy Randall because I need that nigga to, to get me, introduce me to Mark Davis. I need that. Man. That that shit, right? That, that if I, we get to sit down with Mark and let me give me a green light on 30 racks on that shit and Greg kill that motherfucker. I mean, kill it. We It's over. Yeah. It's fucking over. Mm-hmm. It's over. So like I said, like I told Greg, all this shit you sending me don't really mean that. Motherfucker, I need somebody to talk to. Fuck reading stories. I need to go talk and get in front of a motherfucker. That's what I do. That's where I'm at my best. Because trying to call these motherfuckers, sending them email with pictures, they don't know me. You put me in an environment yesterday and I ate. Because you know me, everybody eats. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying that. I got the same approach. I read a motherfucker blow me out, tell me, no, I don't think he can because my approach is so smooth. I just find the right timing and just move in. Because these white girls be jocking these niggas. You got to take your little space with these motherfuckers. They won't shut up. Oh, really? You told me it was kind of on you, Skitty. <laughs> I know that feel good. I know that Man, that business is like, like, y'all, I might like, look, man, I need to holler just do. 
I'm gonna put I put my iPad in front of him. The bitch was talking. Hey, bitch, he, he gonna take you home and fuck you anyway. So what's the point? Let me holler at you, nigga, for five ten minutes. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying. To, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm trying to get enhance. I'm trying to enhance his brand and and further my bag. Hello. Shit. Man, Hello. Bitch, I'm just yakking about all this bullshit. And like nigga over here in the streets, I'm trying to eat. Like this nigga a meal. Uh, this nigga's a meal right now. <laughs> Fuck you doing shit. That motherfucker is on something else, man. So you gotta do a lot of little competing. So I'm gonna get out there, man, and see how the shit go. And, you know, if it go, it go. Now, if it go, it go, man. I don't really care. If that one don't work, I'm gonna slide over to, to the Porsche dealership, see if I could bullshit my way in there around nine o'clock while it's kinda thin. Yeah, everything's a day. It was three events last night. Shay Sharp shit was off the hook. I was like, too many motherfuckers in line. I didn't know nobody at the door. And uh, I know nobody at the door. Hey, you, what you should have did? I wish I would have been with you. I said, okay, let's go up there at the door. I would have gassed you. I said, excuse me. So I talk like he was brother. So I talk like I'm his brother. Boo, boo, boo. You get to talk. Boo, boo. You get to see. You don't sound like I said, damn. And he just went and got that motherfucker. Hey, man. <laughs> I'm moving. They would be They would look at you like, huh? And he'd been laughing. He probably would have pulled a nigga around there. Oh, man, this one here. Come on in. <laughs> yeah, and Shay, Shay won't be at the front door. He's gonna be upstairs with a bot, with a hen dog and a blunt. Though, they would let him in. Damn, that nigga sounded sound just like this motherfucker. Let this nigga in. All they nigga do is try. Yeah, I might, I might be better off handing a nigga hundred dollar bill and shake his hand. What happened? What happened, what happened with the what's the name chick? Though? What happened with um? He said the Asian, said the Asian chick was on you. He said, tell me the Asian chick was on you. She texted me that night. I got her yeah. number. Ooh, Her name is Hannah. Hannah. Um, we just went through a little text this morning. Nigga, you're skinny. Got the, what, what, so why she, how she, why she get at you, nigga? You was, you, you was shining. You had yeah, we you. both kind of saw each other. She was with a couple of cute little girls, and uh, they was all dressed nice. Uh -huh. And she was the last one, so she was walking downstairs. I said, give me your hand. I said, you look like a damsel in distress. And she started smiling. And I grabbed her hand, and I kissed her. I said, meet your prince. And uh, we started... Like yeah, then we just kind of. She ain't used to that shit. See, a lot of them young motherfuckers ain't used to that shit. They ain't used to that that real thuggo player shit. They ain't used to that. They used to you know motherfuckers waiting, waiting, waiting for, uh, waiting for um. They used to niggas waiting for a motherfucker permission. See, they want niggas bras like for niggas to be direct and lead the ass. They love leaders. They love pilots. Women love pilots. That's right there, boy. That's epic. They That's love, epic right there, bro. They, they do. They don't, you know, they, they, get, cause they, women ain't gonna never be direct what they truly want. They say what they want, they want, they don't want what they say. Something, shit, some, sometimes they'll say exactly what they want. No, but no, they only do that, they only say what they want from suckers. But real motherfuckers, they never say what they want from a motherfucker that they feel that they, they make that pussy wet. They never say that. They only say what they want to users, the niggas that they gonna use. Mm, interesting. Think about it. A motherfucker that, that they sexually attracted to, man, they don't give two fucks about it. They'll say one thing and they don't give a fuck about what you do if they're sexually attracted to you. Now, if they ain't sexually attracted to you, then they're going to get to acting goofy. True. Like, like, your, like your big girl, like the big girl, like, like the masculine girl. You know, the most get acting a certain kind of way, certain kind of way, you know, when shit don't go their way. Yeah. Now I'll try to put super demands on motherfuckers and expect niggas to do what they want you to do without giving up nothing of value. If they've been getting through life bullying people, that's all they know. It ain't they fault. Fuck with betas and noodle back ass niggas. When you deal with noodle back ass niggas most of your life, hey, it is what it is. You do what you're accustomed to. You do what brings you the best. You do what brings you the be the, the best answers or the best you know that that cures your issues. If you can go act stupid to a motherfucker and get what you desire, hey, that's what motherfuckers do. They gonna get stupid to get what they desire. But they motherfuckers hey, no one's cool. co-sign. Go ahead. No one co-signs for stupid. That's for sure. Oh well, hello, nobody don't. But hey, but motherfuckers that that act that way, they've been getting their way for so long. They give you a motherfucker a slice of pizza and a little piece of pussy, and then act crazy with your ass to get what they want from you and get what they desire from you. Because motherfuckers are acting fucked up towards a motherfucker that they sexually attracted to. They only act fucked up towards motherfuckers that they can control for that money. And get favors and get a lot of free shit about you. 
But that nigga that they, they sprung yeah, on, that I ain't never seen a, a bitch treat a nigga fucked up if they sprung on a nigga. Never. They don't ask niggas for nothing. All bitches I see are sexually attracted to niggas, they don't ask them niggas for nothing. They don't stress them over nothing. They think before they speak to these niggas. Because they know niggas like that Ooh. got options. Because bitch is not trying to run a motherfucker value motherfucking away. That's real spit. They know that, because dude, they cannot replace that motherfucker. A motherfucker that can... Yeah, but not, not. A, a motherfucker that brings the value. Shit, niggas ain't that dude. Bitch, if you're not fucking, you get no. Oh, there you go. If you ain't fucking, you get nothing. Straight out, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. Straight out. Gotta go. That's what I'm saying. They love and understand. Oh, oh baby, what's up, boo? Nah, fuck all that, homie. Be direct with them hoes. Oh, shit. Mm. Then got the Doberman picture running through the park. Oh, shit. That dog better not bite nobody, bitch. I'm telling you. She got a mother Doberman picture running around. That mother can bite somebody, boy. Ooh. Niggas gonna be curtains. Yep. That motherfucker is aggressive than the mother. I need to put a camera on this motherfucker. This motherfucker oh, about yeah. to attack somebody. Nigga, this motherfucker running like when you was a kid and shit. You see the 